search for my channel Amol Jagre on YouTube. To subscribe here there is a subscribe button please click on it. Please also click on the bell button to get the notification. Hello friends, my name is Amal Zagar and you are watching me on my YouTube channel and uh, let's come back to the page object model part 3. In this session we are going to cover three topics. right? So basically the agenda of this video will be to understand the properties file, then to understand the utility driver and next we will do a small test of login page right so let's start doing this first uh, let's understand what this property file is uh, we have created this resource folder and i have created a property file like say new file invoice plane dot properties so actually I have already created this invoice plane dot property it contains a key value pair right for example here I have taken URL is equal to certain URL right so this is a web URL of our project that is invoice plane so I have already hosted this on this u particular URL right so we are going to access this URL throughout our project even if you change this URL from say uh, as this is on web and if you are using it from your local so you just need to change it from here right how you will use it so we have a resource bundle class so resource bundle rb is equal to resource bundle dot get bundle invoice plane that is the name of this uh, particular um, properties file right then string url is equal to rb dot get string url and then simply write driver dot get url right so uh, it doesn't matter whatever url it is it get fetched here so this is one thing next thing is that we have a utilities package wherein i have already created a driver uh, class so let's understand what this driver class is. The purpose of this class is uh, we have multiple, uh, we can use multiple browsers, right, for testing. So whatever browser you want to take, you can set it from this utility. So let's understand what it is. I have declared a private static web driver, my driver. Then this is an enum type of a variable that is driver type I have taken three uh, driver types like Internet Explorer Firefox and Chrome next I have a get driver function wherein I get uh, I take uh, a driver types parameter this right and if my driver is n null then only I switch to this case I hope you all know this switch case in Java so Switch, switch case is if say case is Internet Explorer then I set system property as web driver i dot driver and then the path of that Chrome uh, IE driver and then uh, my driver is equal to new Internet Explorer driver right then break if I have a Chrome driver uh, Chrome browser in use then system dot set properties web driver dot Chrome driver Chrome dot driver and the path to this Chrome driver dot exe from this. And similarly for Firefox, right? After that, uh, I am uh, waiting for 20 seconds. Then I am maximizing window. Then I am returning my driver to this function. So we are going to use this dr get driver function in order to retrieve whatever driver we use right 
so let's uh, start doing one test before that we will uh, create a page I have already created a login page right so here I'll write web driver driver right I need to resolve this then we are going to use page factory right so for that use at the rate find by then see uh, this is the login page wherein I have different different web elements like this label this text box password and button so I have to define all these web element in this page right so say um, this email is having a name email so I can write it by name is equal to right and I will define this web element as txt email right so in this pages package we are going to define all of the packages login is one of them and in this class we are going to define all the web elements like this txt email I'll also find by name say password you can use xpath or any locator whatever you want so password web element txt password semicolon this nomenclature is important uh, as this is a text box I have prefixed it with txt so if I am using this uh, this is a button right so button login it, it has a name button login btn underscore login so at the rate find by say name is equal to button login web element see btn login right so in this way you have to define all of the other web elements like this link this label and all that right so by the time and next thing is that you have to create a constructor it should be public public and constructor has the same name as that of a class right I am passing an argument as web driver driver so once I will create an object of this class this web driver will be passed into this constructor and I will uh, assign this driver to this current object like this dot driver is equal to driver right next thing I to uh, next thing I have to write page factory dot init elements driver comma this so once I write this I am comfortably able to use this find by tag find by annotation right so next thing I have to create the getter setter methods right so I'll set public void set txt email I'll pass string say username then simply say txt email dot send keys
username right similarly for password public void set txt pa password i'll send string password and simply write txt password dot send keys password then i'll write for clicking the button public void click login so btn login dot click so i have al almost written the web element for this page and corresponding their setter methods right so i'll write a simple test in test src say regression <coughs> login test So right, so I'll define a web driver first. Web driver driver is equal to so I'm going to take the driver from this driver utilities. So I'll write driver it is from com dot dot utilities driver dot get driver we have recently seen this utility driver type so driver type we have recently seen this uh, function run get driver driver type dot say chrome so chrome driver will be initialized to the object driver so let's start writing a test so I am using test ng so I am public void login test right so my first thing will be as this web driver is initialized it will open the browser but I need to set the driver uh, browser to login URL so for that purpose I'll do this thing resource bundle rb is equal to resource bundle dot get bundle invoice plane right then string url is equal to rb dot get string then get then driver dot get URL right next thing I have to create an object of login so this login 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 is equal to new login and driver now let's say login dot set txt ml jo some username then 
login dot set password some password and then finally login dot click login right so let's see how how it works i'm running this the browser is open so we can see that our code is working fine so in this tutorial we have learned uh, the properties file the driver utilities and a simple small test using page object model just uh, to recall the pages directory has all the web pages of our project wherein we define all the web element on those on that particular page and in test we do the testing of it right so in the further videos we will learn how to do properly testing using page object model right so till then bye bye uh, see you in the next tutorial the subsequent links will be in the description